Climate change and variability is a major challenge facing smallholder farmers and adaptation is now a priority in many countries of sub-Saharan Africa. Farmers living in fragile environments such as the drylands are directly exposed to the risks associated with climate change. This is particularly true in areas like Wote in Makweni County that already suffer from soil degradation, water scarcity and high exposure to climatic extremes and where poverty and hunger persist. In 2012, the CGR Research Programme on Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security, CCAFs, conducted a survey in Wote, southeastern Kenya, that found that only 2% of the households are food secure 12 months in a year. It is on the basis of these findings that the three partnering institutions, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics, ICRISAT, and the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock came together in an initiative to evaluate and promote integrated sorghum legume technologies for improved food security and income in Makweni County, Eastern Kenya. Water area receives an average rainfall of about 250 to 300 millimeters, which is very poorly distributed. And therefore, to mitigate the climate change in this area, we had to introduce these drought tolerant varieties. Phase one of this project started in the year 2012 2013, short rains, where we selected five villages. Most farmers in the, this area will always in the crop and they will use maize and beans. The maize and beans have been failing and therefore they have not been helping these farmers to come out of in food insecurity. Therefore, we put the maize and beans as a control to, show the, to be able to show the farmers this technology they are using is not helping them to come out of food insecurity. When we do a sorghum legume intercrop, sorghum intercropped with the green grams and cowpeas, you find that we are not only talking about food security, we also talk about nutritional security. To make sure that uh, more farmers adopt the technology, the sorghum legume intercrop, we make sure that we make follow-up visits. After planting with the farmers, after giving them the seed, we make sure that we do all those agronomic practices with the farmers. Then another thing also is linking the farmers to the market. Once they produce the sorghum, they can be linked to aggregators, grain aggregators. So farmers are assured that when they harvest their grain, at least there is market. Sorghum is the only way. The message is if we can start reducing the acreages of maize and bringing in or we increase the acreage of sorghum, we have to change our eating habits if we are to survive. katika grupu yetu tumeshaka na tukaulisana maswali tukapanda evaluation tukaona mtama iko kwa pale alamu ngwe kinyesha kwa ujibili lazima ukenda kwa shamba utoke na kitu sio kama mahindi kwa hivyo hii hii mtama iko more productive inatokana kwa wingi sana kuliko mahindi tena bei yake sio mbaya ni nzuri sana mahindi kilo moja wana nilua shilingi 15 mwisho 18 lakini mtama hako na market Anaanzia shilingi 24 baka 27. Na saa singine kama hiko kidogo sana, siwa mingi, inaweza kuwa ni shilingi kati pa kilo. Maka walifu mbili na kumina mbili, tuliungana kikundi na tukafamishwa teknolojia mpya ya kupanda mtama. Tulinda crop, mtama na, so, na cowpeas na Green grams. Nimeona mtama unafanya vizuri kuliko mahindi. Kwa sababu, tunapopanda mtama, tunapata chakula. Na tunapopanda mahindi, tunapata tuma chakula cha, cha ngombe. Tangu nilipo anza kulima mtama, jamii yangu imeendelea vema. Na kapito, nilikuwa tunaenda kununua chakula, tunatumia kwa kupeleke watoto, school fees, at least 90% of all the sorghum produced in the country comes from the eastern province, as well as 60% legumes such as green grams,
cowpeas and pigeon peas. The poverty index in Makweni County is at 64%, partly the reason the county was chosen for the project. The success of this project goes to show that climate-smart agriculture will play a key role in contributing to food security, poverty reduction, and economic development, and that small-scale farmers can thrive despite the changing weather pattern.